the one. So Kyrie Irving, all the drama, all the mess, all the chaos. If you want to know my thoughts and opinions, I'll link some videos down in the description below. Reason I'm making this video is Kyrie Irving did finally apologize on Instagram. Uh, this is what Kyrie said. While doing research on YHWH, uh, I posted a documentary that contained some false anti-Semitic statements, narratives, and languages that were untrue and offensive to the Jewish race, religion, and I take full accountability and responsibility for my actions. I am grateful to have a big platform to share knowledge, and I want to move forward by having an open dialogue to learn more and grow from this. To all my Jewish families and communities that are hurt and affected by my post, I am deeply sorry to cause you pain and apologize. I initially reacted out of emotion of being unjustly uh, labeled anti-Semitic instead of focusing on the healing process of my Jewish brothers and sisters that were hurt from my hateful remarks made in the documentary. I want to clarify any confusion on where I stand fighting against anti-Semitism uh, uh, by apologizing for posting the documentary without context in a uh, factual explanation outlining the specific details in the documentary I agree with and disagree with. I had no intentions to disrespect any Jewish culture history regarding the Holocaust and perpetuate uh, any hate. I am learning from this unfortunate event and hope we can find understanding between us all. I am no different than any other human being. I am seeking truth and knowledge and I know who I am. So Kyrie Irving gave the apology that everyone was looking for, right? Everyone wanted the apology. I am watch tomorrow. The whole narrative will be, oh, well, he should have apologized immediately. He should have apologized in the media. Like, because I've said it before, apologies mean shit to these people that are spurring these narratives. There will be some people, I'm sure, some people that will be like, good, finally apologize. Great to see, right? Kyrie, even in the interview we had uh, earlier today, he talked about, like, there was a lot of things in that that I don't believe in, that I don't follow, that I don't, you know, that I am against. But, you know, there was a couple things that I believed in from the documentary stuff. Again, I don't know all the details of the documentary in the book, so I can't really speak on that. I'm just going off of what Kyrie relayed uh, during the interview earlier. And then they wanted him to just kind of give this, you know, oh, do you, yes or no? The the thing is that Kyrie, I don't think Kyrie, and this is what I've said, I don't think Kyrie is against apologizing for his, you know, for what he did or for how he felt about the situation or whatever. It's, he said it himself. It's that they immediately painted him anti-Semitic and just basically called him a bigot and a racist because of a post with no context. Instead of saying, what did you mean by that? What was the point of that? Right? The immediate conversation was, oh, he's a racist. He condones this. He, and you didn't even give him an opportunity to explain what was going on. You just immediately jumped the gun to him being this, that, and the other. Right? Like, can we allow things to and people to understand what happened to, you know, innocent before, you know, innocent until proven guilty, right? What happened to, you know, actually finding out the details and the context? Like, when did context become completely irrelevant in today's society, right? And it's and it's not just because I had people tell me, you know, like, oh, he should have just apologized, you know, he offended people, he upset people. It wasn't about that. Yes, I'm sure he would have been fine apologizing. He just did. But it was the media wanting him and everybody wanting him to do and say exactly what they wanted rather than him. You know, if I make a mistake, I want to apologize because I made a mistake and I want to apologize. I don't want to apologize because you think I should apologize or because you told me I should apologize. You know, like we live in this world where people think that because they're offended or they're upset or, you know, their feelings, oh, my feelings, like no one cares about your feelings. No one cares about what makes you feel. Just because you're offended or upset doesn't mean you're right. Just because something that somebody says or posts doesn't mean you're right. And it doesn't mean that they should apologize. And it doesn't mean that you deserve an apology. Even if somebody's wrong, you have no right to expect somebody to apologize. Because you are no different than anybody else. You are not special. You're nothing. Nothing. You know, and it's just the whole Kyrie situation turned into, like I said, a witch hunt before anybody got context or understanding or anything. And then they all want to paint Kyrie Irving as this bigot and racist and this guy that doesn't want to apologize. And it's like, you never gave the man a chance to begin with. Why can't we just give somebody a fair opportunity? Did you do this? Did you say this? Yes, I did. Why did you say this? Why did you do this? You know, what is your reasoning? You know, like what, like what is the logic? Help me understand 
why you did what you did, right? What happened to conversation? What happened to dialogue? What happened to understanding before we just jump to conclusions? You know, like, I don't, you can see through my comment thread even, like, well, people will bring stuff. I don't, if I don't know it, I'm not going to assume that I know it. If, if I have something without context, I'm not going to assume that I understand the context. Like, that's just basic common sense and knowledge. Why would you speak on something you have no clue of, no clue about? And the media just ran with it because it's a narrative and it's a storyline. And it's something that that's what the media does. They need the headlines. They need the views. They don't care. You think the media cares? that if Even if Kyrie was a racist, you think the media really gives a shit? No, they don't. It, it's just the story for right now. You know, like it's just the, the conversation and the narrative for right now. And next week, it'll be somebody else and something different and all of that. Like, Kyrie's not a racist. Like, does Kyrie have a lot of just bizarre beliefs and thoughts and, you know, just things? Does he say a lot of weird stuff sometimes? Sure. Does he say stuff I don't agree with? Of course. But that doesn't mean that we should be canceling people, costing them their jobs, costing them their livelihoods, trying to destroy somebody because they have different beliefs and opinions and thoughts than we do. Like, it makes no sense. Like, I just, I don't understand the energy that people put in to try to just destroy somebody because they don't believe and conform the same way you do. Like, there's a lot of things that people say, a lot of stuff that people say, and people do that I don't agree with, and I just think is stupid, or I think it just doesn't make sense, or I don't understand why they believe it. But guess what? Nobody fucking cares how I feel about it. They they believe what they believe. Again, your feelings don't matter. No one gives a shit. And I don't care enough to go. If it's not affecting me directly and personally, why do I care? Why do I care that Kyrie Irving believes the world's flat? It has no effect on me. It means nothing to me. I care about what he does on the basketball court because he's a basketball player. That's all I care about. He could say whatever. He could say that this isn't really Earth. We're on planet, you know, Kyrie. And, you know, I am actually the real world, world ruler and whatever. I don't care. If that's what you believe, sure. Dude, go give me 30. Go go force your way to the Lakers and, and, and become a Los Angeles Laker and help me and help the Lakers win a championship. That's all I give a shit about. Like, I don't care. And, like, people spend so much time caring about what everyone else thinks and wants and desires. And, you know, and, and then if they don't believe just one thing that they don't, it makes no sense. Even from a smaller scale, I can't tell you how many people on this YouTube platform I have had that have unsubscribed because of one thing that they didn't believe with. I might, I've made a hundred plus video, a couple hundred videos. And they believed and, and were 100% bought in on every single video. But then there was one video that we disagreed on and they left. It's, like, it's stupid. Like, I don't, and I don't care. Good, leave. If you're somebody that's going to unsubscribe because, of, because we have one disagreement or you don't like something that I say or you don't whatever, then you're just going to find the next excuse to unsubscribe. I don't need you. I don't care. I don't want it. Like, I don't. Like, I, I absolutely want subscribers. I absolutely want to be a, a face on this platform one day. I absolutely want to be somebody that is a staple. I'd love to have a million, 10 million, 100 million subscribers. That'd be amazing. But I don't need the people that are going to just, they're just toying and just emotionally, oh, well, he, I don't agree with this. And from a basketball standpoint, I'm not even talking about a political or, you know, uh, ideological or religious or anything standpoint. I'm talking about just from a basketball standpoint. I'll be like, oh, I want the Lakers to go trade for this guy. And they're like, oh, unsubscribe because you don't, because you want them and I want him. And boo hoo, go, leave. Now, if that's the case for a small YouTube channel content creator, imagine somebody like Kyrie Irving and the shit that he has to deal with on a regular basis. That's why I brought that up. Not because I wanted to just plug myself in <laughs> into this video. There was a purpose, I assure you. But that's why. I mean, it, me, somebody that's a nobody, that is just some dude on the internet making fun videos and just expressing my opinion in the world of sports, right? I deal with all kinds of nonsense and just BS and just stupidity. Imagine what Kyrie Irving's got to deal with. You know, it's just, it's, 
it's mind numbing. It's just, it's unbelievable. But I still think this is it for Kyrie Irving. I don't think he, I, I still would be shocked if he plays for the Brooklyn Nets again. Like, he's suspended indefinitely. The Brooklyn Nets want him to do all this stuff and say all this stuff and whatever and yada, yada, yada. And maybe he does. Maybe he does it. Maybe he does go back to the Brooklyn Nets. But I just, I would be surprised. I really would. I don't think Kyrie wants to go back to Brooklyn. I don't think he wants to be in Brooklyn. I don't think Brooklyn wants him in Brooklyn. I, you know, maybe the fans and stuff, but I'm talking about like the actual or- organization. It's just so backwards, right? Like how buddy, how come no one talks about, you know, the, the organizational standpoint? What about the owner, Joe Sy? You know, and his whole thing, right? How come he can't announce it? Oh, it's because, you know, the, the market that he's in and that he represents like, oh, the NBA would never do that. Does, does anyone remember Daryl Morey? Oh, yeah. And what happened to Daryl Morey? Oh, that's right. He's still a GM. That's right. Huh. And didn't they try to cancel him and destroy him? And didn't he have to come out and apologize and do all this stuff so he didn't get thrown out of the league? Oh, that's right. He did. Huh. And Joe Sy, no accountability. Interesting. The Brooklyn Nets want to hire Ime Adoku, who has allegations and was suspended from the Boston Celtics for sexual harassment. Like, oh, oh, okay, wow. So you, you, that's not a problem to the Brooklyn Nets organization. All right, cool. All right. So we see what, what the deal is. So then why is Kyrie such a big issue? You know, if we're going to be fair, let's be fair. You know, if we're going to, if we're going to call something out, let's call something out. But you can't say, oh, well, this, and then not point at the other stuff, not be real, not be honest. Like, it's just, it makes no sense to me. It's illogical. This was a media witch hunt, and, uh, you know, unfortunately, Kyrie had to go through it. Uh, you know, look, I will never, we live in a country of free speech, and that's important. We live in a world where there are a lot of places where you can't say anything, and without, like, real life and death consequences. I don't want to live in a world like that. That's why I live in America where we have the freedom to say whatever we want to say, whether you agree with it, whether I agree with it, however, whatever it is, at the end of the day, what happened to context? What happened to conversation? What happened to realism? What happened to like, what is the actual facts? Like words are just words. What are the actions? Did Kyrie give a call to action? You know, did he go and uh, assault somebody or abuse somebody? Draymond Green knocked Jordan Poole out for the whole world to see. And he was, he was, he didn't even get suspended. He just left for a day for like 12 hours and came back and it was nothing. The NBA didn't say nothing about that. But again, Kyrie said some bad words or, you know, shared a bad image. Oh no. You know, with no context. So we had no understanding of exactly what he was meaning. It's just, it's interesting. Again, you know, I just, it's scary time because anything you say, anything you do can get you in trouble. Luckily, I don't give a shit. Like I've said in every video, if you don't like it, go fuck yourself. 